What can I do for you? Books are whetstones that sharpen the mind and allow it to keep its edge. That was easy. Hold on. I recognize that journal. It belonged to Ardia. Well, I'll be. Ardia actually made a break for it. She's the last one I'd have expected to escape. Two left feet, that one. Much as I'd like to believe she made it out, somehow I doubt it. Honestly, I'm impressed she made it this far, but my gut tells me she's still here. I, I think we should keep looking for the rest of those sacrificial stones. Whoever's still bound up in the cult's rituals is in the greatest danger. It's getting to the point that I hardly recognize this place. It's like the sky is on fire and everything's scorched. Did the cult come here just to destroy this place? That hardly makes any sense, but Daedra Warship too often doesn't. It's possible this is all just a side effect of the ritual, not its intent. Who knows, maybe their magic isn't just feeding on the souls of those they've captured, but everything here. All the more reason to stop them, quickly. The shifting is more drastic here. It's over with, I suppose. Looks like they caught Ardia after all. We need to free her. We need to free... I mean, stop...
something drawing power from the ritual. Let's keep looking. Steady. Normally, I love new experiences. It's why I got into exploring. Oh, I thought I'd never see that again. Thank you. I have a great. Zigira was yelling at her followers about. Among her followers. It looks like Adia will be all right. Hopefully she can make a successful escape this time. I can't be certain, but Dijo, Scarlor, and my little brother Liam are still missing. I have a theory. I think this... Gone. Soul shriven. I've read accounts of this happening, but I've never seen it myself. This ravaged body is all that's left of Galor. His soul gone somewhere. Right. You're right. This isn't the time to lose it. There's still a What's on your mind? I'm listening. What's on your mind? I trust you. There aren't many.
This is it. And they've got Dejos. Keep meddling, Miri. And I'll make you watch your brother waste away. This focal point is finished, but it wasn't the only one by the look of it. Feeding on their soul. Uh, let's do the same to the rest. You're free. You came back Come on. Me. We managed. Thanks to you, there will be something left for the Hist when my time finally comes. But I did not expect the Dark... Dark Elves have not been kind to my egg kin, and I have not been kind to theirs in turn. I see I judged her too harshly. I should apologize to her and her brother. If he... To the heart of the... We managed to save her. Liam, hang in there, little brother. We'll find you. No, I don't care. might have something to do with it. I think that did it! The gate's unsealed! Let's find Liam. Sakira, if you think a little lava is going to stop me, you've got another thing coming. This is it! I don't know. He's my little brother. I have to try. Learning, you stop growing. I don't intend to ever stop learning. We've lightened their burden a bit, but it might not be enough. Look for other focal crystals. I think that's all of them. Now, the array. Mary, I thought I'd never see you again.
You can inform your worthless legates that we stopped the cultists. No thanks to you. Just be grateful your little dispute didn't land you afoul of the law. Cease your meddlesome trespassing while you're ahead and get a real job. I suppose you helped the Dark Elf rescue her associates? We did it! My little brother is safe and that backstabbing viper Zagira's plans are in shambles. Oh, I almost wish I could see what Dagon does to her for her failure. But my imagination's probably better than his anyway. We leave this useless sweat to his report and count to Zora's lucky stars. My little brother is alive and well thanks to you. That's more than I could ask. We owe you. If you ever need anything, and I mean anything, you can count on me. I should get word that we're safe to our parents as soon as possible. I, I hope to see you again soon. And Liam, straight to Leowen, you hear? I just want a moment to catch my breath and thank your friend here, Mother. Always ready to help. I'm listening. What's up? You're affable enough. Just be honest. Did you eat something? I'm listening. I'll take a life if I must, but I take no joy in it. Assassins and thieves who wrap their deeds in fancy oaths and guild trappings have no honor. Murder is murder. Is there something I can do?
Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. The mercenary. A few moments later, and you would have found an empty cave. Your timing really is impeccable. We've already packed up my records, and we're about to head out. But what news of the other counselors? Did your warnings reach them in time? All three of them? That's disheartening news. Well, I'll take my records to layer one. Perhaps between the two of us, Counselor Leviticus and I can ascertain what past incident has returned to haunt us. Oh, just a lifetime of public service and bureaucracy. Mostly financial records, but also meeting notes, ledgers, those sorts of things. I oversaw budgets and finances, the collection of taxes, public works, and I kept immaculate records. That's good to hear. Emperor Leovic loved to hide things in coded documents. But what about Counselor Vandasia? Do we know if he's still safe and get perfect? Remind him he's too old to play the hero, and I want to see him in Leowen Castle immediately, if not sooner. These brigadines will make sure I get to the city safely. Me and my records, both. post-haste. Your guards did their job, Counselor Vandasia. The prisoner is secure. And what's this? More assassins? Explain yourself immediately. One attempt on my life today is more than enough. If you're another one of those Dark Brotherhood bastards, I assure you, 
You won't find either myself or Governor Keshu to be easy prey. Warn me? As always, Leviticus offers too little and too late. I received the letter, same as the other counselors. My personal guard took the threat seriously, and we captured the assassin in the act. But what of my esteemed colleagues? Are they safe? Dead? All three of them? This is unimaginable. Feral Lupus's letter suggested the Longhouse Emperor's left behind a secret that would prove to be a threat. But I thought he was just being melodramatic. Has Leviticus determined what this is about? Four ambitions? Never heard of them. How could something I know nothing about make me a target of the Dark Brotherhood? It's got to be a mistake. You must question the prisoner. Get him to confess and reveal the truth of this sordid affair. Governor Keshu locked the prisoner in the holding cell in the courthouse basement. Question the villain, and find out why the Dark Brotherhood is trying to wipe out anyone who was part of the Imperial Elder Council. I'll head for Leowin afterward. I wish there was something I could tell you. The letter I received suggested that some old Council business was the cause of all this. Why the Dark Brotherhood would be interested in such menial affairs, I'm not sure. I'm completely... As I said, I never heard the term. The Longhouse Emperors were enamored of secrets and code words, though. Perhaps I encountered it, but it was called something else. If you think it might be important, ask the Assassin when you interrogate him. I'm not sure how relevant my ancient history is, but I was appointed to the Elder Council by Emperor Durkarach himself. I helped guide the Empire through most of the reign of the Longhouse Emperors. Sadly, my role in guiding the Empire often put me at odds with the Emperors. I was rarely privy to their secrets. I'm afraid I can't shed any light on that particular mystery. Keshu the Black Finn. War hero, progressive Argonian, and governor of our fair city of Gideon. I serve as an advisor and bureaucrat. Nothing more. I have deep roots in Gideon, so I try to do my part to keep the wheels of government turning. My personal guard is dedicated and well-trained, not to mention lucky. I was nearing the courthouse when the assassins sprang from the shadows. My guards reacted instantly and overpowered the villain. We brought them here and Keshu locked them away. The cell door is open. What happened here? Poured something on the lock. Hit me. And escaped. Some sort of acid ate right through the lock. Look, there's more of it on the floor. me over. How rude. He attacked this legionnaire and ran into the ruins of the old city.
The day is ours! Well met, brother. If I had realized you were in the area, I would have suggested we meet for a meal at the Egg and Hammer. The chef makes a superb fungus omelet. I suppose you're chasing me because of the incident at the courthouse, hmm? Well, aren't you a fast reader? Look, if you're here about Councillor Vandacia's accusations, you have to know they aren't true. From your time with the Brotherhood, you must remember that if we set out to kill someone, they wind up dead. <laughs> Evidence. I told the speaker those calling cards would get us into trouble. It's not like we sign in black ink and make a handprint. Look, there have been no contracts. I'm here on different... Hmm, good question. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. I definitely want to have a chat with them myself. Now, it's been lovely seeing you again, but I really do need to get back to my daring escape. If you learn anything, I'll be in touch. If you come to any conclusions, do let me know. Ta-ta. Can I help you with something? I'm listening. I like that you're a listener. So many people like to hear themselves talk.
There's something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. So, the mercenary from Leowin has returned. Tell me, were you able to capture the assassin? Or perhaps you killed him in battle once you caught up to him? I am eager to hear the news. Allow me to peruse the document, if you will. <laughs> Proof positive that the Dark Brotherhood is in Blackwood. We must find this sanctuary and destroy it. What did you expect? Such lies fall from his lips like rain from the sky on a stormy day. Villains never freely admit their guilt. The evidence is right here in this letter. Meet me and Leowin and we'll share this information with Leviticus. God, there's a thief on the loose! What? Oh! My personal guard are nearby, and these legionnaires are sufficient. You need not be concerned. As for Keshu, she had business to attend to. Gideon business. I saw no reason to distract her from her regular duties. Now to Leowin.
Dark Brotherhood. They must be driven out of Blackwood. I still can't figure... Then we can seek answers. All of the remaining... All of the remaining counselors in Blackwood are gathered here in the castle. Valeria, Bondacia, and myself. While we await the arrival of the scribe I sent for, tell me what you uncovered in Gideon. I'm not sure I agree with Vandasia's assessment. Yes, I remember reports of their presence early in Morikar's reign, but they were driven out. The assassins must see this as the perfect opportunity to reclaim their base, but what does that have to do with... Vandasia, Faleria, and I were just discussing that. We think Leovic had each of the counselors unknowingly working on a different aspect of the Ambitions project. They each had access to a piece of the puzzle, but no one but Leovic knew everything. That's our prevailing theory. If the counselors ever came together to compare notes, the truth of the Ambitions would be revealed. To stop that from happening, the Dark Brotherhood was sent to kill my colleagues. Indeed. Hmm, very curious. Still, I'm hesitant to take the word of an admitted killer at face value. Not with so much at stake. Regardless, their very presence still poses a threat to all of Blackwood. The Sanctuary cannot be allowed to reopen. Jirix and Sophus's documents contain information written in Imperial Code. I sent for the scribe, Baragon, but he has yet to arrive. Until then, the counselors will remain safe within these walls. You have done well so far, and have my thanks. Whatever the truth behind the murders of my fellow counselors, we can't allow the Dark Brotherhood to gain a foothold in Blackwood. I'd like you and Evely to go to Bloodrun Cave to ascertain the situation there. Talk to Evely and make your plans. Until we know more, I'm not prepared to engage in an all-out war with the Dark Brotherhood. No, better to send you and Evely to investigate the situation. Then we can determine if a more forceful response is warranted. Hey, partner! Over here! All right, you heard Leviticus. Time to get back to work. While the counselors remain here and wait for the scribe to show up, we need to determine what your Dark Brotherhood friends are actually up to. Show me that letter you found in Gideon. Yeah, these are definitely orders. It mentions Bloodrun Cave. That's northeast of Leowin, toward the edge of Blackwood territory. Well, as the spinners always say, the best way to find out what's happening in the clearing is to step into it. Of course it does. Nothing has been easy since I found that strange book and started chasing down Leovic's secret. Well, are you still interested in solving the mystery of the ambitions? Will you come with me to Bloodrun Cave? Meet me at Bloodrun Cave. Despite your assurances, we need to determine beyond a shadow of a doubt whether the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders or not. I'm still not sure I can trust you. You're an assassin, and you only just told me! All right, but why keep it a secret from me? We were trying to prevent the counselors from being murdered, but four people had to die before you decided to mention your connection to the murderers! Oh, sorry, possible murderers. Yeah, we did, didn't we? All right, your secret's safe with me. But if the Dark Brotherhood turns out to be involved and you lied to me? Well, let's assume that's not going to happen. I just hope I don't have another one of those waking visions. Remember back at Fort Blueblood when we found the murdered servant? I had a vision of a shadowy figure. It was a robed and hooded cultist. Order of the Waking Flame, I think. It was brief and powerful, over in a moment, but the figure felt evil
What else could it be? It's written in an unknown language. Probably Daedric. Lupus sent me to find it, so it must be important. The last vision was a warning about the cultists. I can't let them get this book. I'll hang on to it, no matter what. I'll meet you at Blood Run Cave. Blood Run Cave is a day. Emily brought word of a call. We don't actually know. Won't be safe. Assassin. Dark Brotherhood is driven out of Blackwood. Right behind you, partner.
glad you made it. I wasn't looking forward to going much deeper without you. So this is Blood Run Cave, huh? Creepy. You go on ahead. I'll follow behind you. Make sure nothing tries to ambush us. I'll catch up farther in. Check the letter you found. It said something about a door located deeper inside the cave. And there was a strange line about death being the key, whatever that means. Go on. I'll follow along shortly. For glory! Courage brings victory.
stop me. They are mine. How can I help? I'm listening. You're affable enough. Always ready to help. This looks promising. Let's t that creepy black door. That's got to be the entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I doubt it's as simple as turning a knob, because that door doesn't have one. Let me see that letter you found again. Wasn't this? Hmm, gutted, untold danger, long trek, clear out. Ah, here it is. And remember, death, my brother, that's the key. You really do know your Dark Brotherhood stuff? Sure would have been helpful if you mentioned any of this a lot earlier. All right, assassin. Is that what I call you now? If you're so smart, go and open the door. I'll wait. Go ahead. See if that passphrase opens the creepy black door. Creepy black door. It talked to you? I find that both frightening and fascinating at the same time. All right, let's go see what's on the other side. Still looking for your murderer? Well, you've come to the wrong place, my friends. We found the black hands beside every body. Must I say it again? You've been duped, and the Dark Brotherhood has been set up to take the blame. Haven't we already had this conversation, brother? Tell your little wood elf friend that we are not her enemy, and go find the real killers. You know that the Dark Brotherhood doesn't play coy. If this was our doing, we would proudly admit it. I'd like some, too. I'm curious to find out who has the gall to frame the Dark Brotherhood. And rather successfully, I might add. That's no small feat. Whoever it is, they managed to trick the lot of us. Crafty indeed. Nothing substantial. You're the closest link we have to whoever this unknown enemy happens to be. Now that you're here, maybe you could... 
Now what? Cultists, portaling in. Quickly, secure the sanctuary. That's the order of the waking flame. What are they doing here? Come on, we need to figure out what's going on. This can't be a coincidence. Did the Waking Flame cultists follow us here? Battle is won. Stop it. That's cruel and wasteful. and take us! The Waking Flame is definitely trying to occupy this sanctuary. But why? Portals, warn the high priest. Oh, I think not. <sighs> All right, what were we discussing before they so rudely interrupted us? I assume this will satisfy your masters in Leowin. The Dark Brotherhood is not your enemy. The Order of the Waking Flame invaded our sanctuary and killed my brothers and sisters. I can't let them get away with that. Seems to me the cultists didn't want you talking to me. Didn't want you hearing me tell you for the hundredth time that the Dark Brotherhood didn't kill those counselors. If you ask me, those are your murderers. The Order of the Waking Flame. Opportunity and motive. Look, I, I don't know what that may be, and I don't want to know. But I do want to step through this portal and stick my dagger in their high priest's throat. Care to come along? Good. Now you'll see how a Dark Brotherhood assassin deals with unsanctioned targets. And please notice that I won't be dropping any notes or leaflets along the way. Come on. Let's go before the portal closes. Stay with the assassin. I'll inform Captain Rian and Counselor Leviticus about the cultists. place for a Daedric cult to hide out. Let's look around. Looks like I'm not the only one who leaves important papers lying about. Give that a read, why don't you?
Their high priest actually ordered them to kill us. Amulet looks important. Better hang on to that. Close approximation of our calling card, but that entire pile is obviously a forgery. So the Order of the Waking Flame killed your counselors and placed the blame on the Dark Brotherhood. Then their high priest sent his followers to kill us. Care to enlighten me as to what this is actually all about now? All this fuss and bother over an old Imperial secret? <sighs> Let's review what we learned. The High Priest of the Order of the Waking Flame sent cultists to the Sanctuary to eliminate both my Dark Brotherhood assassins and you and the Wood Elf. Obviously the cult has someone watching you. They knew exactly when to attack, certain we'd all be in the Sanctuary. Plus, they were after some cash hidden there. So who are these cultists? And how well do you trust your masters in Leowin? I'm not suggesting anything. Just following the clues. If the cultists are Dagonists, then their high priest is probably a true fanatic. This secret must be pretty important, and most likely pertains to death and destruction. Let's keep searching. Let's see if something deeper inside this ruin points us to the identity of the cult's high priest. Figure out who they are, and you may learn more about this secret than you ever imagined. Oh, and you still have that amulet. It might come in handy. Because I owe them for besmirching the good reputation of the Dark Brotherhood, and for ordering the deaths of my brothers and sisters. And because now, I'm curious. It's like an itch that needs to be scratched. No. The order suggested it was placed in the sanctuary after we abandoned it. Careful there. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm well on my way. Is there something I can do? This door looks impressive. Let's see what's on the other side. The Lord of Bloodshed will rule over all existence.
will be ours. Over here. Voices. We failed to kill all the assassins. And the Wood Elf and the Mercenary are still alive. Yes. The High Priest isn't going to be happy about that, but we retrieved the cache hidden in the old sanctuary. With the contents of the cache, the High Priest should be able to determine where to find the first ambition. Agreed. And we will soon have the location of another one of the ambitions. As just another Imperial Counselor, the High Priest has them all fooled. Now that's something new. What do you think? Sometimes listening provides the answers we seek. It seems their high priest is actually one of your counselors. That explains how they knew your movements. And they found whatever they were looking for in the sanctuary. I'd rather not know any more about this damn secret. It's cursed. But did you see how they opened that portal? They used their amulet on the pedestal. You still have the one we found? Let's find another pedestal and see if we can follow them. Keep looking. We need to find a pedestal like the one those cultists used. I am not afraid of you. That pedestal looks promising. Let's talk before you try to open a portal. This may work. It may not. We may open a portal that takes us to the cultists, or we may open one to some dark and deadly corner of oblivion. Still, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, ready to try something daring? It looked to me like the cultists used their amulet on the pedestal and opened a portal. Examine the pedestal and see if there's a place to fit the amulet. These Dagonist fools think they've gotten the better of us. Let's prove them wrong. See if you can use that rather ostentatious. Well, we have a portal. How to find out if leaping into it turns out to be a good or bad idea.
Valdesia is the Order's High Priest. I knew I disliked the man the moment he had me beaten. We're too late. The location of the Ambition was sent to the High Priest. What was that about an attack on Leowin Castle? So, now I know who needs to die for this grave insult to the Dark Brotherhood. Counselor Von Dacia, the High Priest of the Waking Flame. But what do you make of that journal entry about the first ambition and an attack on Leowin Castle? They got what they were after. And now they're sending their forces to kill the rest of the counselors. With the other counselors dead, Vandesia will be the only person who knows the secret of the Longhouse Emperors. And Vandesia will do everything in his power to get his hands on those documents. I suppose your course is clear. You need to return to Leowin Castle as quick as you can. I'm going to stick around and deal with a few more of these waking flame cultists. I still have a little anger to work off after that attack on my sanctuary. I suggest you return to Leowin Castle with all due haste. I'm an assassin, not a soldier. I've done my part, now go do yours. When I'm finished here, if Vandesia is still alive, well, then we'll see what we shall see. That portal should take you back toward the exit, or to some terrible plane of oblivion, one or the other. That's the last of them. That's it. Are you hurt?
Get those doors open. We need to get to the counselors. They're barred from the other side. Mercenary, you've returned. Everly's attempting to breach the barracks. Go! The waking... What? Steady. Wait for it. Now we can go in. Let's... Oh, you're here. Oh, thank Ifra, you're back. Captain Rian and I, they tricked us, lured us out of the castle. Now the place is locked down and I don't know if any of the counselors are still alive. Vandacia, that traitor, he tricked us, lied to us, had his own colleagues murdered, and all to get his hands on a few Daedric weapons. But Lirinth, the Dramora, she told me that the fate of the world was at stake. We need to reach the counselors. Yes, the barracks connect to the rest of the castle. Since I dispatched the cultist guards, we can get to the counselors and the legates this way. Let's go, but stay alert. We're not sure how many of those cracked acorns are waiting for us in there. We need to reach the counselors. I can't believe Vandacia fooled us. Or that he's in charge of these fanatics. at stake. How could I not? Counselor Valeria! No! Baragon? When did you get here? I came as soon as word arrived from Counselor Leviticus. I was with him when the cultist attacked, but we got separated. We have to find Leviticus. Come with us, brother. We need to stick together. Counselor Valeria. She's dead. We have to keep looking for Leviticus.
I see her. Do you traitor? I will finish what the Longhouse Emperors started, Leviticus. I will set loose the power of the Four Ambitions. Lord Dagon, hear your high priest. Send forth a champion to destroy thing? these men. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! And Death to the mortals! Don't worry about me. Deal with that creature. Council of Leviticus, you're alive! Every Let villain is the out hero of their own story. <laughs> What's on your mind? I'm listening. I like that you're listening. Did you? Friend of my sister, come, speak with me. Despite the gravity of the situation, you should know that I was able to decipher a portion of the encoded documents before Vandasia whisked them away. I'm not sure. I only translated a small bit of the code before the assault began. It mentioned a vault to protect them, which I assume to mean the ambitions. It's hidden in the Ogel Bok, but I'm not familiar with the term. Argonian, perhaps? It sounds like it, but I'm not sure. I haven't reported to Councillor Lovidicus yet. Since it looks like he wants to talk to you now, please inform him of my findings. And tell him, let Councillor Lovidicus know where... Isn't the family resemblance obvious? I was an adventurer myself back in the day, before I became an Imperial scribe. I think that's where Everly gets it. That... I imagine he didn't think I had time to decipher any of the coded passages. Vandacia will pay. Vandacia? A high priest of Merun's Dagon? Has he been a Daedric cultist all these years? I failed to see the signs, and now the counselors. They're all dead. Valeria, Sophus, Abor. Chirik. Yes, of course. The Sanctuary. I suppose this proves the Dark Brotherhood wasn't involved in the plot to murder us. What else did you uncover while you were away? It's worse than that. Vandacia wrestled the documents you acquired from the other counselors away from the scribe. Once he translates them, he may know the location of all four of the ambitions. Ogel Bach. I've heard that term. It's Argonian. I believe it refers to a natural formation deep in the Blackwood Marsh. But Vandacia was more familiar with that region than I. I. I know someone who can help us, though. I believe you already met her. If the term leads us to the vault, so be it. All we can do is follow the clues we've been given. Talk to Keshu the Blackfin. If anyone can help us navigate the wilds of Blackwood, it's Governor Keshu.
Damn. I can't believe Vandacia is a traitor and a cult leader. And he killed Valeria. Almost killed Leviticus. He's been ahead of us the entire time. We can't let him get to the ambitions. We just can't. All right, we have a plan. In the meantime, we saved Councillor Leviticus, cleared the Dark Brotherhood of the murders, and determined Vandacia is the traitor and leader of the cult. You did good, my friend. Here, your share of our compensation. So, the information from the former counselors points to an Argonian location. Some place called the Ogel Bok. Vandacia ran off with the documents before we could learn more. Now we need to figure out what it means before his cultists beat us to it. No, but Councillor Leviticus has heard the term. Says it's a landmark in the Solzan territory. The documents suggested it's a site connected to the Four Ambitions. Maybe where the weapons are stored? We need to consult with an expert on that region. Governor Keshu of Gideon. Councillor Leviticus says she knows the swamps and bogs of Black Marsh like the back of her hand. So, can I count on you? Will you come with me to Gideon to talk to Keshu the Black Finn? We'll meet up in Gideon. We can talk to Governor Keshu there. She has to know about this Ogel Bok thing. She has to. Just what I've heard. She emerged from the Black Marsh swamps and made a name for herself as a freedom fighter. Keshu's progressing. Hmm. Hmm. I love cities. The rude people, the noise, the chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? What is it?
Vondacia, a cultist. Gideon will have Counselor Vondacia, a traitor and a Daedric cultist. I can't believe he had us all fooled for so many years. But that's a matter for another time. Evely tells Counselor Leviticus was right to send you to me. In Argonian, Ogel Bach roughly translates as Pit of the Outsider. There is a natural formation to the south that bears the name. Unfortunately, it lies in territory claim. The Sulzan are a savage people, Nagas, who revere the forces of death and chaos. You must traverse their land to reach the Pit of the Outsider. The Nagas recognize no authority other than themselves and their leaders. They do not welcome visitors. South of Stone Wastes, in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest caution and stealth. Try to avoid starting a war with the tribe if you can at all help it. Bring whatever you find back here. Gideon will keep it safe, I assure you. Ojel Bak, the pit of the outsider. It's a natural formation located south of Stone. After me. No. No. He served only what the Sulzan are brutal. They Forgive me if this sounds like bragging. I was raised in a tiny village far to the south, but I was never sat. You must have seen the stone. My explorations showed me the plight of my people. I fought dark elf slavers, raised the Blackfin Legion, battled Akaviri invaders. I helped form the Ebonheart Pact and fought in the Alliance War. Now I only seek to govern Gideon in peace.
After many... No, Blackwood. to an outsider to bring a curse down upon a sacred shrine. The claw that spills the jub bile must be the one to sop it, dry skin. Heed the words and tend to this matter. Riddles? Really? Not helpful, priest. Not helpful at all.
What's new? Never thought I'd still be alive to see the end. Yet here we are. Ready to make our way into hostile territory? We need to find this pit of the outsider, see if the vault is there, and reach the ambitions before the Order of the Waking Flame beats us to them. Hmm. Well, you heard Governor Keshu. This is Sulzon territory. We want to avoid contact with this hostile tribe of Argonians if at all possible. Another waking vision. Happened when I got here. I think that strange book is trying to tell me something. I saw these weird cubes with symbols on them. Symbols like the ones in the book I'm carrying. I'm not sure what it all means. I want to find the vault. With any luck, we're way ahead of Vandasi and his cultists. Maybe we can get in, grab the weapons, and get back to Gideon before anyone even notices that we're around. Are you ready? Remember to avoid the Sulzan, but keep an eye out. Just what you'd expect, I imagine. They are bloodthirsty savages who revere death and chaos, after all. Be ready to... It's possible, I guess. But we haven't seen any evidence of that up to this point. They've got to be somewhere. This... shouldn't be there. Ah, little mortals. Come speak to me. There you are, little mortal. It seems we once again find ourselves on the trail of the same mystery. I expect we can aid one another in the events that are about to unfold. Since we last met, I have been watching the activities of the Order of the Waking Flame. I followed a couple of their scouts to this location and discovered this charming Daedric vault. I believe the ambitions that you seek are locked inside. Unfortunately, the vault is warded like the Imperial Annexes. Wards designed to repel Daedra, including me. Remove the wards and open the way and we will both have our curiosity satisfied. Oh. And about that strange book that the elf carries. When the wood elf and I crossed paths when she first learned of Leovic's secret, I sensed something unusual about her. It's the book she carries. It's an ancient and powerful tome of questionable origin. I believe the book to be the Mysterium Zarxis, a tome penned by Mehrun's Dagon himself. Or, so they say. 
Whatever the truth of its origins, the tome is both powerful and dangerous. Evelie must place it on the lectern to disable the wards. I dealt with one of the scouts. She will not bother anyone again. The other may have slipped away while I was studying the vault's exterior. So I suggest you pick up the pace. The cultists could return in force at any moment. Remember, while the wards are in place, none of us can enter the vault. Use the book the wards... Dagonists and Dramora familiar with such things say it was scribed in the deserts of the Deadlands. I did some research after I sensed the Wood Elf had it. An artifact of great and evil power, it is said that merely handling it could be dangerous. That I do not know. Artifacts related to Daedric Princes often possess a corrupting influence. At the least, she will probably feel a sense of discomfort if she hasn't experienced it already. She should... You cannot see it. The exquisite workmanship. The otherworldly crafting. This vault was not forged by mortal hands. In fact, I believe... Curiosity, little mortal. How else am I to fill the endless days of immortality? I collect secrets, and I long to learn the truth of the Longhouse Emperors and their mysterious bargain with the Prince of Destruction. Need is such a specific word. I do not need anything, little mortal. I am quite content to find a new distraction and leave your pitiful world to the Prince of Destruction. However, if you do decide to open, the wards not only serve as powerful law. All right, I'm placing the book as Lirinth suggested. You check out those cubes. Well done, little mortal. Now I must explore. We open the door and Lyrinth just rushes ahead without us? Figures. Well, I guess we should start looking around too. Everything we learned so far indicates that the Daedric weapon should be in here somewhere. It all comes back to Emperor Leovic's secret. How he hid the four ambitions before Varen reached Imperial City and killed him. We don't know exactly what these four ambitions are, but the documents indicated they're Daedric weapons of some sort. Yup, and Liren thinks they could arrive here at any moment. Let's look around. Oh hey, one more thing. The book sort of started to tingle the moment we entered the vault. Just thought you should know. The Mysterium what now? Never mind, I can worry about that later. Right now, we have a job to do. I want to find out what's so important that Leovic had to stick it in a warded and sealed Daedric vault. I suppose the book started this whole quest. I found it in the Longhouse Emperor's old retreat. It's full of Daedric symbols and strange markings. Carrying it around, it feels like a burden. Heavy, oppressive. And now it's tingling. It feels like... anticipation. Like the book wants to be here or something. 
Look, I've had some dark dreams since I found the book and those waking visions. But this is the first time... I don't know. Like it wants something? Like I didn't have... to the vault.
Are we still inside the vault? This doesn't look like Blackwood to me. Another warded door ahead of us. There's another ward on the door ahead. Ready to see if we can open it? Only one way to find out. Then here we go. The book. It's almost as though it wants to help us open the door. Never mind. We need to lower that drawbridge. or a switch around here someplace. Now we can get across. Really? Lava and an ominous sky? Oblivion stuff is weird. They made their choices, so be it. That's sort of pretty. Disturbing and terrifying, but pretty.
I was wondering where you had gotten to. I need you once again. Little mortal, I can proceed no farther. Another ward bars my way. Deal with it, will you? Yes, this interior is littered with the damn nuisances. Disrupt it so that we can continue our search. I do not believe we have much time before the Dagonists arrive. Very perceptive. The construction is imbued with a magic that allows the vault to behave as if it were a small pocket of oblivion. In a way, I suppose it is. Those exterior portions you pass through, that's where the Deadlands and Nurn coexist. It's all part of Mehrun's Dagon's master plan. He believes Nurn belongs to him, and he has long sought a way to combine his Oblivion realm with the mortal world. Hmm. Perhaps the ambitions are another step in that direction. Now, open the door. Another ward. Damn! I'll place the book. You turn the cubes. so important it needed all this protection. How's this, sister? More dramatic, Destron. More panache. Kalia, just make sure it actually looks like me this time. Oh, brother. I always People? capture the real you. Where are the Daedric weapons? Who are these intruders? I sense the cultists. They're close. Wood Elf, check the other side of those doors. Careful, brother. They look dangerous. Dangerous? We're heroes! All right, Lyrinth. I knew I felt ahead. something strange. Like glass shattering in the distance. Who are you? And why have you disrupted the wards? The Four Ambitions? A curious phrase. Pray tell, what are these Four Ambitions you seek? Weapons? We have no weapons here, at least none that I'm aware of. Feel free to... Explain yourself. Who are you, and why have you invaded our sanctum? Four Ambitions? As in, an earnest desire or something to aspire to? How can an I... Weapons? Destron says my talent has improved. Interesting. A totem revering Mehrun's Dagon, I believe. We serve the twins. The ram. We live to serve. Mind, those are personal. F hey, we've got trouble. Yeah. 
Vandacius cultists have arrived. We need a plan. Portals opened all around me, and suddenly there were cultists everywhere. Well, we did take down all the wards that protected this place. I put arrows in as many of Vandasia's crazies as I could, but the rest of them deeper into the vault. What's going on? Where are we going? Whatever happens, stay close to me. Can't touch it. Makes me want to rip out my eyes. The waking flame blames the ambitions for Mayroon's day gone. Estimating you was their last mistake.
warning you. Nonsense, child. You are an ambition. The High Priest has great plans for you. Destron, what should we do? Exactly what we were trained to do. Um, I think we may have found those weapons. They wanted to take us away. Me and my sister, I, I... I couldn't let them do that. You think so? When they charged in here and demanded we go with them... I just had a bad feeling. I... I really didn't mean to obliterate them like that. I'll have to take your word for it. With our sanctum breached and our caretakers dead, we can't stay here. We'll go with you, if that's all right. Those people! They wanted to take us away! Yes, but I never saw him unleash that much raw power in a single burst, or against living targets. Obviously, our training has served us well. Destron has always been more powerful, but if you're asking if I can defend myself... I won't let anyone take us from here without our permission. And so the secret finally becomes clear. The ambitions aren't just weapons. They are mortals, of a sort. Obviously, these two have been imbued with immense power. Power that has a distinct Daedric tinge to it. I have learned enough. For now. The mystery intrigued me. I wanted to know what the ambitions were and why the Daenerys wanted them. Now I know. Or at least, now I have some idea. Vandacia is a mortal problem. Best dealt with by mortals. In the meantime, I wish to look into how these ambitions gained their power. I have my own avenues to explore. But do not fear. Destron and Kalia, the twins. They're the ambitions. Well, at least there are two of them. I have to say, I did not expect the weapons to be people. Whatever. Vandacia and his cult still want to get their hands on them. Obviously, we have to protect them. Get them somewhere safe. Especially since we're the ones who unlocked their vault and gave the cultists a way to get inside. Hmm, good question. Leowen is still reeling from the cult's last assault. But Governor Keshu offered to help. I say we take the twins to Gideon. After that, we can figure out how to locate and secure the other two ambitions, whoever they are. Come with me, you two. It's not safe here anymore. You want us to go... outside? Time to say goodbye to this place, Kalia. It will be a new adventure. Hello, what's this? What can I do for you? I'm listening. What's on your... I trust you. Always ready to...
Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Some are good, some are bad. Some give you gifts, others rob you blind. These two will be safe here in Gideon, Everly. You have my word. Thank you, Governor. You did well to bring these twins to Gideon. I will make sure that they are well protected. Is it true, though, what Everly told me? These are the ambitions you sought? Yes, Everly was telling me about that. Daedric weapons in the guise of Imperial Hatchlings. Interesting. Feed them. Provide them with a place to rest. We'll keep them safe. But what about you? Do you have any ideas on how to find the remaining ambitions? Or what to do about Vondacia and his cult? I suggest you discuss your options with Evely. For someone so recently out of her egg, she has remarkable instincts, and a good heart. Anything I can offer would be a guess. You and Evely are much more familiar with the situation than I am. For my part, I will gather the Blackfin Legion and make sure the twins are comfortable and safe. On that, you have my word. As I told Evely, a courier arrived shortly ahead of you. After you and your partner finalize your plans, make sure to talk to them. Well, we found two of the ambitions and kept them out of the cult's hands. Now we just have to find the other two and deal with Vandasia. Not yet, but I'm sure something will occur to us. It usually always does. In the meantime, take this. Your share of our compensation from Leowin. I couldn't have found the twins and saved them without your help. Thanks. Well, Governor Keshu takes care of... Maybe Captain Re... Talk to the courier. But the courier's... No, I was waiting for you. Besides, they said there was... Well, what does the letter say? Well, did the letter say anything important? An anonymous letter
only the finest ingredient in my dishes. Oh, life is hard for the city bar to manage. About time. I was beginning to think I'd hired the wrong courier. So, did you get my message? I was worried I'd hired one of those incompetent couriers. You know, the ones who take your gold and then toss your letter into the dung heap. I had to eliminate more than a few of those in my time. Right to business. I wanted to ask you if you tried the swamp eel in a blackberry wine sauce at the Egg and Hammer. I hear it's the specialty of the house. Anyway. Foundacia. I did some digging and I came up with this place, Amnis Manor. Well, I got to thinking. A cult like the Waking Flame doesn't pay for itself. It needs wealthy donors, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. Anyway, Mattis Amnis. He's a known supporter of Foundacia and a closet Dagonist. Generous, too, I hear. Hey, I can't do everything. Search the manor. Rumblings in the back alley say that something big is about to happen. An event of some sort. And Vandacia's stink is all over it. Maybe something here will point you to it. Sorry it took me so long to get here. Let's look around. Vandacia might be at the Salvito estate near Blackwood Lake, but what sort of event are they talking about? Hmm, that's just the cover letter. The detailed invitation is missing. The wardrobe's empty. Looks like Amnes has already left for the event, whatever it is. I think that's everything we're going to find. Let right. Says that's located near Blackwood. I was thinking the same thing. Sounds like getting to the... Hit the trail.
Courage brings victory. This place is crawling with waking flame cultists. We need to be careful. Intruders! Stop them, my brethren! A fight? Good. My boat! Stay back! Just let me go and I'll give you whatever you... What do you want? Uh, gems? Golds? Jewels? I'll tell you everything he knows. Yeah. 
What do you want? A, a gem? All right. All right, yes. Vandacia was here. Stopped by for a visit with his new charge, but, but he's long gone. Perhaps if you hurry, you can still catch him. Well, prisoner, actually. He stopped by to show him off. Gave me a preview of his big event. Oh, please, I, I shouldn't be telling you any. No one outside the Order is allowed. Oh, all right. I can see there's no reasoning with you. Take my invitation and my coin. You'll need both to get on the ship. The Calamity. It's leaving from Leowin Docks shortly. A ship at the Leowin Docks? Where is Vandacia holding this event of his? And he's got a prisoner? It sounds like he found one of the ambitions. Let me see that. What a strange coin. The symbol on it. It looks like the symbols in the book I'm carrying. Here, you better hang on to the coin. At least we know how to get to Vandacia's event, wherever it is. Absolutely. Let's meet in Leowin. According to the invitation, the event requires formal attire, so we'll need to visit a tailor before we head to the docks. I'll meet you by the big tree just inside the city gates after I deal with Salvito. Even an old sack might have treasure inside. All right, Salvito. Let's go turn you over to Governor Keshu. Let's ride. Over here, my friend! Oh, good! I didn't miss you. We don't have much time before that ship departs. No? The invitation says we need formal attire to attend Vandacia's event. When I drop Salvito... It's not far. Pretty much... Armor and fine garments is right in the city center. I'll meet you there.
You did pick something out. They all look so my people comfortable. Is there something I can do? Welcome, welcome to our humble shop on the boulevard. Are you with the young wood elf? She said her friend was coming by. How may I... A formal event? I say, we don't usually get clientele of your caliber seeking outfits from our formal line. Adventurers, am I right? Perhaps I can direct... Of course, of course. We have a small selection of formal wear and alterations are part of our service. Unfortunately, such attire usually requires a noble's purse, if you catch my meaning. If uh, the trade is simple, I need silk for a pleasure doing business with you. Now, please, take your time and select the outfit that most suits you. You want to look your... You were there. Did Indania really rise from the dead? I try this one on. Where does this piece go? What am I supposed to do with this thing? This is itchy, and I can't breathe. All right, there. So, how do I look? So, be honest. I look ridiculous in this outfit, don't I? You really think so? Thanks. You look good too. So, you be the noble and I'll be your escort. With these outfits, the invitation and the coin, we should be able to walk right up and board the Calamity. Right, just act natural and no one will... character, they say.
you're here. This dead stump has really been rustling my leaves. And who might you be? This vessel's been hired for a private affair. Are you now? And where's your invitation? Hmm. Salvito and guest, huh? All right. This all looks to be in order. Welcome aboard. Make your way below decks and find a bunk. We're shoving off shortly, and it's going to be a long voyage. All right, we're aboard. Let's figure... We must be on the right ship. Everyone is dressed like they're about to have tea with Queen Irene herself. I don't know. We want to avoid drawing too much attention to ourselves. We don't want anyone to figure out we're not actually supposed to be here. I guess we could talk to the other guests. See if we can learn anything. Just be careful, all right? Then we should find our berths and get some rest. We want to be ready when the ship arrives at its destination, wherever that may be. I don't remember you. This must be your first... Ah, a new recruit to the cause. Welcome, welcome. I... Oh, no, no, my friend. I wouldn't want to... I do not know you. Vandasia and his recruitment drives. I prefer the company of long-standing believers, not raw and somewhere spectacular. That's what I mm. guess is. As men... through that. Everyone else has already disembarked. We need to hurry. Well, according to the last couple of nobles who headed off the ship, we're somewhere in the Deadlands, the oblivion plain of Mayroon's Dagon. I guess Vandacia really didn't want anyone interrupting this event. Same place the rest of the nobles went. Off the ship in that way. I'm right behind you. Let's go see what this is all about. <laughs> <laughs> 